Good morning, guys. God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene, and I can't believe that I almost missed this blessing. <laughs> you guys, uh, Artsa reached out to me. I'm pretty sure if you follow any other uh, YouTubers that are Christian content creators, had had an unboxing from them. These are items from Israel. The businesses that will be presented from here are Israel-based. The products, the food, or whatever that's in here, because I don't know what's in here. Um, everything's Israel-based. And what perfect timing to value and appreciate and to admire what they have and what is birthed and created from the Holy Land, right? Um, but anyway, I almost missed this blessing because my email was overflowing. Um, just to give you a Snapchat of what, I, what I'm referring to. Okay, I have YouTube channels. I have multiple YouTube channels. And two out of the three use the same email. And I have it set up where anybody who ever comment, share, uh, what's the word? Um, mention me or whatever the case, I get a notification. So mind you, that's a lot of emails. And I was not up on them. I tried my best to be because a lot of individuals did reach out to me. Um, to collab and to uh, showcase their product and things of that nature. But I missed a lot of blessings because, well, I can say I missed them because God will be done, right? And this is one where I just say, I'm just going to take a, a a stab at it. And I was like, I'm sorry. I just, I'm, I know I'm months late. I just saw this email, but I would love to do this. And of course, they were very kind and they were very loving and nice. And they was very, very understanding. And we're here. <laughs> We are here, you guys. I am so excited. I'm trying not to ruin anything. I probably should stand up so I can make sure I'm in view. Woo. Okay, since I opened it like this, do you think I have to box upside down? <laughs> I'm scared now. I think I do. Okay, hold on. Okay. That seems like it would be the front, right? <laughs> okay, let me stand up because I don't want to ruin anything or shake my tripod too much. And I have a lighting right here. Let me adjust that. All right. So it's Artsa, the Holy Land Delivered. Exploring the seven spe species, right? I don't know why that got me stuck. <laughs> All right, let's open and see what's inside. Ooh, look at that vineyard. What do we have here? Welcome to the fields of the Holy Land. The land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates and land of olive oil and honey. Yes, yes, yes. All that good stuff. Comment down below if you are a pomegranate person. Whenever there's something that's a flavor, like a tea or drink, I am trying it. I just love it. And me and my children, we always get grapes every week, and they're always immediately gone. But yeah, with heartfelt blessings and gratitude during this season of harvest. Nice. Ooh. What do we have? This automatically caught my attention. Look at them. They look so good. Makes me want to drink now. Huh? Fifteenth day within the Jewish lunar month of Shabbos. New year of trees. Definitely a lot to read. Oh. Y'all know I haven't ate yet and I have the nerve to be looking in this box. So please forgive me if I'm goofy this morning. <laughs> I am in good cheer and good spirits. Go Lord knows I spent some time in prayer and I need it. But it's funny because this is a, a recipe for crispy chicken, right? And just last night, I was at the store like, what should I pick up? And I picked up chicken breasts. I picked up three big chicken breasts. And I have some breadcrumbs. Um, all right, so... Sh sh is that in the box? <laughs> I guess I'm going to need it. 
I got lemon, or I could get a lemon. I got olive oil. I got all purpose flour. I got salt, of course. I got black peppers. I think I know what I'm going to make this evening. Thank you. Definitely going to keep that to the side because a family of seven, we'd be running out of ideas. Oh, look at all the vests and stuff behind her. So she seems to be like an artist. This is so cool that they get highlighted like this. I think you get the Hebrew and the pronunciation. I'm always down to learn. It would be really cool if there was like a pomegranate uh, jelly or preserve. Because I'm going to cook breakfast this morning. And I can definitely try it out. Oh, there are stuff in here. Don't want to tear anything. Olives of love, crushed green olives with zata. Zata? Zata? Mmm. Can I put this with the chicken? Y'all, dinner about to be holy and lit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all probably like, oh. Dates bread. Okay, fun fact. Did you know dates is where they encourage uh, pregnant women when they're at the end of the term to eat? to induce labor, which I ain't got that issue right now because we're done with kids. <laughs> but I can't wait to try it. I wanted to try it then, but I was scared because people kept giving mixed feelings um, about it because I was over my pregnancy. And then the Lord, he said, okay, I hear you. And then Bella came a little early. <laughs> Praise be to God. Okay, I don't even know what to touch here. What is this? Gentle cleansing face. Lavender. I can't make this up. Okay, so one of the subscribers sent a care package of a face cleanser brush. And now I have a gentle cleansing face mousse from Israel. Y'all know I'm about to make me, I'm about to make so many videos about this. Oh. Wheat and barley proteins. And it's such a cute packaging, like bloom. Oh my goodness. Dad, you're so awesome. I hope I can. Am I showing y'all good? Because I've just been caught up in looking myself. But that is so cool. And I was just telling my husband I want to um, get more facial stuff. And here we are. A fig candle made in Israel. so cool this counter was made from a casting of a fig tree that stands tall in the valley of the Judean hills near my home may it bring you joy and blessings prosperity and security as signified by the fig tree beeswax candle made with 100% natural beeswax and cotton wick y'all know I love me a candle death is going to be on this desk for one of my videos cannot wait I hope I didn't go too fast I know I'm moving. Isn't it? Look at that. That is so cool. And this box is so cute. That is awesome. <gasps> they gave me the breadcrumbs. We're going to have some, like I said, we have some holy food <laughs> this evening. I'm ready to cook now. Because, you know, when you cook all the time, <sighs> things get stale. And it's just cool to try new things and to have new things available. I cannot wait. I don't know. My husband, he's been up on it too. So he might see this and be like, mm, let me try to do it. But you would be fed with the finest of wheat, with honey from the rock. I will satisfy you. Psalms 81 and 16. Amen. 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 Oats, rye, barley, peanuts, tree nuts, almond, Brazil nuts, cashew, chestnut, coconut, hazelnut, macadamia, pecan. All the nuts, pistachio, walnut, sesame, soy, celery, sulfate. Very organic, very, very healthy. Can't wait to try this meal. And I'm going to tell y'all, and I'm going to take a picture too. <gasps> what do we have? 
a land of wheat and barley, of vines, figs, and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey. My name is Noah Atares. I am married and a mother of five children. I created my art in a small studio in Israel. I am honored to share a piece of the Holy Land with you, my new friends around the world. Okay. I don't want to take up too much of y'all time. I'm definitely going to read everything myself. I, I love stuff like this. All right, y'all. Trying my best not to ruin anything. <gasps> oh, and I can. Oh my goodness! I can hang this too. This is going on the wall. The wall is complete. I think. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I was just looking at my wall like I want to put something. You will see it. This is this is so pretty. Look at this. And purple is my favorite color. That is so cool. And to think that they thought enough for me to reach out to me and send me something. Okay, this seems to be like a serving plate. It has all the different. This is so cute. You know what? I don't even want to serve food on it. Uh, we're going to find a different use for this. <laughs> Maybe I can, I don't know, put it on my desk or something. I don't want to serve food on it. It's so pretty. Maybe something like candies or something. Candy dish. Yep. That might be more fitting. All right, what do we have here? Ooh, a lot of, a lot of different languages. All right. The artist Yara Emanuel lives and creates in Jerusalem. The main designs of Judaic art are based upon a fusion of traditional motifs and ancient Jewish manuscripts with modern and oriented art. Vivid and harmonious colors as well as a mixture of the old and the new characterized Emmanuel's work, which he designs and crafts in his Jerusalem studio. Okay. Is this something else I can put on the wall? Because that would be perfect. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Thank you for these blessings. Thank you for the opportunity to share with others. Let me show y'all pray for these individuals and everything that's going on right now. And this can be a reminder and I can, well, this actually goes, this is like a desk mounted. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful. Definitely, and my kitchen is blue by default. Wouldn't have been my original color pick, but if you ever stayed in a mobile home with the wallpapers, you know how they go. <laughs> so this will definitely go in my kitchen. And as a matter of fact, I can use it as um, the middle of my table and put my candle up there. I can do that too. This definitely will get used as well. I am so happy and so glad that I decided to reach back out. Normally I'm too timid and shy to do that kind of thing. I'm just like, well, I missed my opportunity. That's normally how I would have addressed it. But this time I said, you know what? I'm going to try. And I'm so glad I did because this is a blessing. And like I said, I can't wait to show y'all my little wall decor with all you guys uh, cards. I didn't put personal letters up there because they're personal and I keep them near and dear. But I've read every single handwritten letter, every type letter. And like I said, the car is on the wall and I can't wait to show y'all and I can't wait to use some of this stuff. And this date spread, I'm going to try this this morning on a piece of toast and I'm going to let you know how this tastes. So y'all please remind me because I like to keep people updated with stuff like that. But I'm going to try it. I surely am. All right, y'all. So that is it. That is it. I'm going to use my candle like really soon. And I even got a... Um, I got a little plate thingy for that candle because of course I'm gonna have to put it in something 
And I'm going to try that recipe tonight. So y'all stay tuned for that. I'm just looking at these cards like I'm just amazed still. Thank you, Jesus. All these different artists and their work. All right, y'all. I absolutely love y'all. God bless. Take care. Bye.